Hello, today I will be showing you how to create this image you are seeing here. I won't go into too much detail, I will just show you technically what I've done so you can replicate it. And I also won't touch on the render part because I have a separated tutorial very in-depth in my channel. So if you want to learn how to render it properly, just go and see that tutorial. So otherwise this tutorial will last forever. So the first thing I do is I go into Google Maps and I change into satellite mode uh, bottom left and then in here I just change it to so I don't see the labels basically and uh, no names on the on the streets and stuff and I take a print screen of that I move on to Photoshop where I basically just clone stamp all the parts that I don't want to see once in magical voxel I will just import the image I created by clicking this button and selecting it, you're not seeing that, but I just selected it from my desktop. Next thing I will do is go in by pressing tab and now I'm on my working area and I will change this to 256 square. This is as big as you can go. Uh, it's like a big box now. And what I will do is select any of the colors with the magic wand and this option here that will basically select all colors are the same, all boxes that are boxes that are sharing the same material, let's say, right? So this one here is this material here. It doesn't look the same, I don't know why, but it's that one. So I will just press Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and now pressing Ctrl, I will go to this axis. You see, you can choose these two axes and just click and drag, left click. Again, and that way I'm giving some height to all of those boxes that had this color. So I'll do the same randomly with other colors. Control C, I'll just give you one there. This one could have three. And I do it on the border just because it's easier to move them up. Oops. Maybe four and five of these. And I generally try to make colors that are not like big flat chunks uh, taller you see the green is like quite flat all over it's like very like clamps of the same color so I try to use the ones that are more separated to go taller and that will give you a bit more variation on your model so yeah that's basically how I create these kind of models next thing I will just select all of the colors of the water yeah make sure you get all of those and then I will just press ctrl I and make everything a bit taller just because I like to have the water like a bit deeper down I, I think I feel like it, that gives it a, a nice effect just three up and you have like a nice deep cut on that water line and once you have this, it's basically just, you can copy and, and paste this around to have like more, more of it if you want it, or you can just like, um, I don't know, copy just a part and duplicate it up and down. As it's a very high frequency image, you won't really see, it won't be much of a problem, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And if you wanted to, I don't know, continue this river or something like that, you can just choose those colors. And with the V option here, just use, I don't know, six voxels and erase. And you can just like continue that river. Even, even if you duplicated these and pasted it, you could, I don't know, maybe just fix this by continuing it like that and then just with the flat option attach this color again Boom. and then you can just duplicate a bit of this to, to hide the parts that are, are not supposed to be the lake here I just want to show you very fast. The next thing I do is choosing my own colors. Um, of 
course you continue to do it with all of the things like maybe this one could move a bit down yeah just just continue doing that with all the colors just make sure that when you move down it will just pop up on the top of the working area just delete those and to choose your own colors first very quickly bear in mind that all of these colors are different materials so they can have the same shade the same color and be two different materials so when i move to the palette that i will use to choose my color for instance number three everything will become gray but everything will still have different materials i'm out left clicking to pick the materials and you see all the materials are different so right now it's just a matter of creating a color you like and if you want more of that color just select it and with the with this option here use the packet tool and add as much as you want uh, and just create other shades and color you like let's do seven more purple i just want to show you real quick and some yellow right and then for the water all i did was another material like that and i made it emissive so if you go to the render tab i have a, a whole tutorial on rendering just go to that one to check that part but yeah just make it emissive here and your water will be glowing you can see how to do that on my other tutorial but that's in general lines how i made the image i showed you on the beginning i hope this helped you and oh one last thing before i go uh, something else i did on that image is selecting chunks with the selection tool like this and move like one up and then select a smaller piece one up and like that you create like a bit of a heel effect and uh, that can give you some cool kind of geography you know on your on your landscape and also basically just pressing tab to go out of your working area you select it ctrl c ctrl v and you can just have some duplicates of that maybe change a bit the river to make it flow in a different way and that way you can have a bigger area you know if you want to, to render from a bit more of a distance yeah so i hope this helped you and please go to my instagram synth hunters and subscribe to see my voxel art and to check updates on my game synth hunters and thank you have a good day